Anyone work at ICE here can help me out? I've got a Lost Freedom of Information Act request. I serve in the U.S. Congress. Oh, it's a public property. I'm a member of Congress. We couldn't find out uh, whether or not there was an office in Madison uh, for ICE. We couldn't find out if they were given um, information and forms uh, in English and Spanish. And our law enforcement in Wisconsin was not notified prior uh, to this. It's the first open uh, records request I've had to do as a member of Congress. This is uh, part of the ongoing problems we've had with an agency that's gone increasingly rogue under the direction of uh, the Trump administration, and that's the problem, uh, but we're gonna try to get answers for at least my community, because uh, it's a lease that should happen for a federal agency. Hi there, I wonder if you could help me out. Do you work in the FOIA department? Hi there, do you work in the FOIA department? Well, we've lost a FOIA request for four months and we're hoping to get a response. If you could post that maybe. Hey there, what if you help me out? If you might be able to post this by a coffee machine, we're missing a FOIA request. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm handing out, uh, I'm on public property handing out a, a poster. We're missing a FOIA request. I'm a member of Congress from Wisconsin. Sir, I've got a, a Freedom of Information Act request that's been gone for four months. Yeah, I've tried those. The problem is no one responds. The guy wanted proper channels. He, we've been trying for four months proper channels. This is not how any federal agency should operate. This is not providing uh, a clear and transparent operation to the American people about their tax dollars. We're gonna keep uh, trying to get this information. We're gonna keep making sure my law enforcement knows if ICE is getting involved. We're gonna make sure my local elected officials are informed of what's going on in their local communities. And we're gonna make sure the family members uh, are given the justice they deserve uh, with this abuse uh, by an agency like ICE. We definitely have families um, in Wisconsin, in Madison, um, who suffered through family separation. Um, and it's difficult to see um, them suffer through the trauma. It's a very emotional experience. Um, and I think it's something that's going to last for a very long time with these families.